Incident number three in the life of Elizabeth occurred on one of those nights when Elizabeth had gone too far in trying Alvin's patience. There they are, Elizabeth and Alvin. Elizabeth is the pretty one. Alvin is the miserable one. Come to think of it, they're both pretty miserable. <laughs> okay, kids, you can come to life now. Alvin? Honey? <laughs> Elizabeth, do me a favor and just don't talk to me. Well, I have to talk to tell you I'm sorry. Look, you've done enough talking for one day, Elizabeth. I specifically told you not to tell a soul. You went right out and told Geraldine. I did not. Besides, she said she'd keep it a secret. <laughs> secret? I thought she was one of your best friends. She is, only I can't trust her. <laughs> You're no better than she is. You can't keep a secret either. Can too. We were engaged for three whole weeks before I ever told you about it. <laughs> Wait till Mr. Fuddy hears about this. Now, Alvin, what would Mr. Fuddy care how long we were engaged? <laughs> I wasn't talking about that and you know it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't you say anything but I... Answer the door, big mouth. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fuddy. Hi, Elizabeth. Do you want to come in? Oh, let's put it this way. Either I come in or I fire Alvin. <laughs> Who's the loud mouth? You mean me? No, of course not, Mr. Fuddy. We know several loud mouths. <laughs> Hi, Alvin. Hello, Mr. Fuddy. How are you? <laughs> Elizabeth, it seems to me the least you could do is to tell me that my boss is here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on here? We're having a little disagreement. A little disagreement? Tell him what you did. I dare you. Alvin, how can you talk to her like that? Just look at that face. <laughs> that face contains a mouth that is always blabbing. Stop growling at her, Alvin. Yeah. If you want to growl, why don't you go in the den? <laughs> now you tell me all about it. And Alvin, control your temper. Well, I, I borrowed the car to go over and see my friend Geraldine, and, and Alvin had to ride the bus to work. Is that all? Alvin, you should be ashamed of yourself. Let her finish. <laughs> when I turned into the driveway, I, I knocked over a, a rose bush. Well, it's Geraldine's fault for having a rose bush in the middle of the driveway. How can you upset this little girl? Mr. Fuddy, tell him where the rose bush was. In a little pot on the front porch. <laughs> well, so what? I'll pay for the damage myself. Now, Elizabeth... She's not through yet. Go on. Well, Geraldine and I were, were talking about one thing and another. You know how you do. Here it comes. It can't be that bad, Alvin. Go ahead, Liz. Well, and in, in the course of the conversation, I happen to casually mention, just casually, that, that Mr. Fuddy was Alvin's boss. That's you. I know who Mr. Fuddy is. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I, I told her about your negotiations with the Acme Machine Company, and, and Alvin said I shouldn't have mentioned it because Geraldine's husband is with Universal Machine Company, and if Universal found out about it, it would bankrupt Fuddy Incorporated. Well, Alvin's right. It would bankrupt Fuddy Incorporated, but I don't see... 
<laughs> Give me a cigarette, Alvin. <laughs> there, you see, darling, you make such a big production out of it all, and all Mr. Fuddy wants is a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I, did did you hear about about the fellow that said to the other fellow, "I why do you carry that cane?" And the other fellow says, "Cause it can't walk." <laughs> I, I made I made that up. I I I. I <laughs> All right, so I made a little mistake. But there are lots of other contracts you can get. Geraldine's father said so. He says right now there's a factory that's just begging for a contract with Putty Incorporated. I'll bet. Geraldine's father must know a lot about machinery. He probably runs a pool hall. Yeah. Well, you don't have to get sarcastic, Mr. Fuddy. I have a lot of respect for Mr. Adams. Felix, Felix Adams? Adams? Felix Adams says someone has a contract for Buddy Incorporated? Yo, what are you so excited about? Did he say who had the contract for us? Who? What he said, but I forget. I'll call him on the phone. Keep calm, Alvin. How can I reach Felix Adams, my dear? You can't. He just sailed for Honolulu. Oh, honey, please try to remember. Remember what? Who did he say wants a contract with Buddy Incorporated? Shouldn't that be whom? <laughs> Wait a minute. You said he mentioned a fact. What was its name? Floyd. Oh. Uh, Alvin, get that lamp. Oh, get that lamp. I'll no. get it. Listen, you come with me. Come on. What are you doing? We're going to make you concentrate. Oh, Mr. Putty, if you just leave me alone, maybe I can think of it by myself. Sit down right here. Here you are. Here you are. There. Wait a minute. No, no, wait. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Okay. That's now. Now. Try to think of the name of the factory. All we want are the facts, ma'am. <laughs> I can't think of anything with all those eyes and noses staring at me. Honey, this is important. Try to think. Look, honey, if you can't think of the name of the factory, what city was it in? Well, I don't even know what city well, I'm in. Oh, please, concentrate, Elizabeth. Please. Do we have to have the light? Oh, yes. Yeah, it helps you concentrate. It helps you come up here. Yeah, honey. Now, there you relax. are. <laughs> No, thank you, Sergeant. Oh, no. uh, leave her alone, Alvin. Let her think. <coughs> oh, well, that was close. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Here she comes. Here it is. She's getting it. Uh, uh. Did you think of it? Think of what? Oh, what the hell are you grinning about? The lamp feels good on my neck. Oh, Connie, what city was it in? Well, it seemed to me it had something to do with, with a cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter? Is, is there a, a town called Wickenburg? Yes. yes. That isn't it. Oh. Uh, get another lamp, Alvin. Another lamp? Oh, aren't you afraid you'll make me lightheaded? Yes, I... <laughs> oh, oh, let me go. Please try to think you said the city had something to do with a cigarette lighter. City... Cigarette. Is there a town called called Flint? Yes. Yeah, no. Yes. That isn't it. Uh, oh wait, is there a town called called Lighter Fluid? Uh, Li sure. Lighter Fluid, Alabama. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh. Listen, try to think, please. Take away the light. Take what? it away, Alvin. the light. Yeah. Here we are. Concentrate. Oh, it's no use, Mr. Fuddy. I wouldn't blame you if you fired Alvin. Honey, oh. please. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Uh, fire? Uh, blame right. the smoke. Smoke? Sm smoke. Smoke. Uh, sm smoke. 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 That's right here in town. The only factory here in town is Whitcomb and Son. Whitcomb and Son. Whitcomb and Son. No, no, no. I'm not that. You're excited. 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 Say goodbye to the people. Oh, goodbye, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Here to say goodbye to you is the lovely star of our show, Betty White. Thank you, Jack. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. You know, if nothing else, at least Elizabeth learned one very valuable lesson tonight. She'll never tell Alvin another secret that she heard that she told anybody. Please be with us again next week, will you? And in the meantime, till we see you again, 
Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.